Hello everyone, welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about how to find good teammates. Uh, I feel like this is a popular question amongst most players. I feel like a lot of people that solo queue have this issue, and I feel like a large majority of the player base of Apex Competitive runs into this problem on the daily if they try to play ranked often. So this is a problem I've even struggled with a little bit, is not being able to find a squad that can keep up with what I believe to be my standards. Uh, I know a lot of people suffer from this as well, so I'm just here to show you a couple ways to find a teammate or a squad that are just as good as you and can help you climb in rank. So the first place I've been able to find a large majority of the teammates that I play with regularly are PS4 communities. I believe I'm in three or four communities. One's like a 200 player community composed of just Apex Predators and people who have the 4K and 20 kill badges. So that one's a little smaller. I haven't found many teammates out of that, but I have found some. Uh, I have found a lot of teammates from the 100,000 communities. There's two of them, I believe. So if you're not in those, I would suggest you join them and post in them kind of regularly until you find a team. You will find good players in those since there is 100,000 people. So whenever you have a little bit of free time, uh, just check out the community. You see who's posting in it. See if anyone's in your uh, skill range, your rank range and just send them a message i'm not sure if xbox has a similar feature but if it does which it most likely does just uh do the same thing I'm, I'm sure there's probably a lot of apex legends communities on there as well so just send people messages if you see they're in your rank range um i know also another way of doing it is discord uh there's certain discord servers you can get on for all of the pc players you can get into a discord with a lot of people and you could find players through that and that's also an effective method of finding a squad uh, so that's that'll be pretty helpful for the people who are on pc and don't have these communities so the next method is finding people in game and by this i don't mean just waiting and trying to get lucky to find a good teammate that you get as a random that's probably never going to happen you just if you see a player in your lobby that's pretty good you see him killing a lot of people or maybe you kill a player who is he has good movement good aim he almost gets you maybe send him a message and try adding him on playstation and maybe you'll be able to even run a few ranked games with them uh this is actually i i just recently met a player who was pretty good doing this um, I killed him in a lobby, and I know from seeing his name a lot in Predator lobbies that I knew he was a good player, so I figured I'd send him a message, and I ended up, you know, adding him, and now, you know, maybe if I ever need a third, I can invite him, or maybe he'll invite me, he's already invited me, so that just goes to show you that if you just keep doing this over time, you'll eventually build up a larger friends group of people who are good and people that play Apex Legends regularly. So you'll never really struggle with having no teammates because if you just do these methods regularly, you'll always have at least one, two, three plus on the game. So the third and final method is a little bit situational since you have to have at least one person as a friend already who you um, occasionally will squad with or play ranked with. Basically, you just ask them to invite a third, invite someone they may know, and that way, if they get a player who they believe is good, they can invite them to the lobby, and then you can add them as well after playing a couple games with them. I have met probably most of the players on my friends list that I regularly play ranked with through this method. I feel like I've, I've met a lot of good players just through other people that I already know. So this is definitely one of the best methods you could use for finding people, but if you have nobody to play with at all, then I would say communities is a really good start, as well as um, just inviting somebody that you see in a game, like the kill leader, the champion, uh, you know, if a player kills you, maybe, you know, swallow your pride, send them a message, and maybe you guys can become friends and run some ranked games. I mean, if they're good enough to kill you, then they're probably good enough to play with you. So these are just a couple methods that I have personally used in the past and have helped me. And most likely if you guys use these as well, they will probably help you. And I really hope they do because I know the struggle of not having ranked teammates. And I know it could be pretty frustrating when you're trying to climb in ranked and you just feel like you get the worst randoms, which it really does happen. And I really relate to that because it happens every time. So... I'm just going to let the rest of the gameplay play out since it was a pretty decent game in Predator. Uh, I'm probably going to make a video about how ranked is a little bit easier now and public matches are pretty much just as hard, which is a little ridiculous, but we'll talk about that at a later date. And 
that's all for this video so thank you guys for watching uh, enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you next time Nah, he didn't have a Kraber, I don't think. I think it was a longbow. 56 on the one. Don't let him push. Push. Into the portal, buddy. Well, this guy is self revived. They both had self revived. Good game. It's really sad that ranked is easier. Champions.